Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, YouTube? Uh, bring you guys a late night vlog and stuff. Uh, sorry for posting really late. Uh, today's been busy, but I got a couple topics. Uh, just gonna talk about. Uh, there's not gonna be a second vlog this weekend. Uh, just kind of dealing with some stuff, but we'll start with the lighter hearted uh, topic. Um, over uh, this channel, I kind of like uh, been telling you guys like bits and stories from from uh, like throughout my life, but. Uh, one of them that I shared was that, like, how in high school, I hung out with, like, a group of, like, five dudes, and out of, like, the five dudes, only two of them were, like, solid, and, uh, I, like, one of them, like, yeah, we kind of been talking and stuff, uh, you know, we hang out every once in a while, but, uh, there was, uh, the, one of the dudes who, like, I considered one of my, like, really close brothers, like, uh, I would walk home after school with him. We'd just talk about life, uh, just like a bunch of shit like that. So uh, he, fi we finally got like re in touch. Uh, it's been over a year since I've seen the nigga, and uh, yeah, we met up uh, earlier today. Uh, we did just did a workout. We haven't done that shit since like high school. Um, just like got got a real chance to just like sit down with uh, you know somebody and just kind of talk about life. So. Um, it was pretty fucking amazing to have that just, like, back in my life, you know, it was all, like, I got my, I got the bro back, if I need to talk about anything, like, serious or stuff like that, um, he, uh, he's there, um, I'm doing better in life, so, like, uh, hopefully, like, you know, now that my mindset's in the right spot and I'm not, like, focused on playing video games all day, and now that I, uh, have communication with somebody who I could, I could consider uh, a brother. It's all like, you know, uh, I'm ready to take on the world now, but that was the first lighter, hot, light, lighted harder. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Uh, but that was that topic. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, it's kind of just like uh, the new job. Uh, and then kind of having this feeling of like, uh, it's not like stress. So like, uh, the, the way I, the reason why I was able to start this job was because, uh, it's a hundred percent commission only. So working at my warehouse job that I'm still working at, uh, right now, um, when I working at this warehouse job, working 55 hours a week is about a little bit more than a thousand a week. So that's what I was making. Um, moving like, uh, moving forward to this, uh, commission based job. The only reason I was able to accept it was because uh, at my other job, I was able to save up about a little bit over $2,000. So like if uh, I make no money this month, you know, like I'm covered, but I just have this like impeling, like I just have this feeling of stress in my stomach. And uh, it kind of remi reminds me of something Andrew Tate said. He's all like, you know, going to work's fucking easy. Clocking in's fucking easy. If you don't get paid, it's all like, cool. You could, you could blame your boss. You could blame not having enough hours. You could blame whatever the fuck. Like that shit's easy. And uh, it kind of is, but it's like when you get more to like owning a business or being an entrepreneur is he, he like he said uh if you don't get paid that's your fault and he's like is like that's why uh running a business is hard it's like if you have no money in your bank account at the end of the month it's not your boss's fault it's not payroll's fault it's not et cetera, et cetera. it's like you are to blame for not having enough money so um so like i started this job at like the beginning of the month and stuff and uh, I had some money just in case I make no money. So, like, I thought about that ahead. But now that it's, like, in the middle of the month, uh, we're kind of, like, it's about to be the 16th. I, I think it's the 16th right now since it's uh, a little bit past midnight. Um, sorry about that. I had to re my thoughts. So, when I first started the job... Sorry, I had to re-catch my thoughts. So, like, you know, around the start of the month, started the job. Um, it took me about, like, until sometime last week to get my first lead. And uh, I, I got a couple leads set uh, for appointments this week. And if they go through, then I get paid. And then I uh, made just barely enough to cover my rent. And then I don't have to dip into that money that I saved up. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Uh it some things that are like kind of just making me feel stressed out is like uh waiting on money that's not there yet you know like i'm like yeah i got two deals going off this week and it's like okay cool if they don't go off then and like they fail um you know then i have to use the safety money to cover my ass and uh that's just kind of stressful but i mean one thing alex ramosi said that kind of keeps me going is all like if you have to take a temporary decrease in pay to you know have the ability to make more money, you know, in like a little bit later, 
that's something that you could take, you know, like I, I, I was making a thousand a week and I was kind of like a little bit comfortable doing that. But like now at this new job, it's like I've made no money, but I'm hanging around a bunch of people who have made over a hundred K last year. Like most of the, uh, sales reps who I'm talking to cleared 150 K last year. Uh, my boss has cleared way over 200 K. So it's like, I'm, I'm surrounded by the white, right people and I'm in the right spot. It's, uh, it's just this temporary pay decrease of like, I don't know how to sell. And then, uh, I don't know. It's a lot. So like I said, that's why I'm happy to have a, uh, my brother, like, uh, not my brother, like not biological brother, but you know, somebody who like, I could just sit down and just like talk the shit with for like, you know, an hour or two and, uh, stuff like that. So <sighs> yeah, it's just kind of where I'm at with life. You know, let's hope the next two deals go off next month. And then, you know, that'll kind of extend my month in sales for like a just like indefinitely uh if not then you know i kind of i like i'll spend all my money that i have uh, you know covering the bills and then it's like okay i got one more month and uh if like i fuck up that month and it's like okay i fucked up that month but thing is i'd rather fuck up when i'm 20 before you know i'm like 30 or 40 or some shit like that so <sighs> happy we're getting this out of the way now um yeah I don't really got much else to say, you know, it's, pr it's pretty late, uh, only reason I am staying up late is because I'm working at the warehouse job, so I still gotta, like, try and force myself to stay up till around, like, two in the morning, but I'm gonna just finish David Goggins' books, and then, uh, probably just start reading one of these sales books, and, uh, yeah, don't really got much else to talk about, um, like I said, I, uh, let you guys know how the deals go off, uh, throughout this week, and, uh, other than that, like, uh, Got the bro back, so uh, if, uh, hopefully we can talk about some deep shit, and then uh, I can make a video about it or something, you know, but uh, yeah, guys, it's like 12 o'clock now, so I'm gonna end the video there, go the fuck to sleep if you're watching this at like 2 in the morning, um, do something productive today, alright, peace out.